start. Athletic Club, Naughty Step. Ooh. Naughty Step, Athletic Club, just because they just score goals when I don't expect them to and don't score goals when I expect them to. Against Atletico, and we don't know what we're getting from them. So that's why it's plus 150 for the home side, plus 200 for Atletico Madrid. The goals are set at two and a half with plus 115 to see 3 Now, listen, Athletic Club have been scoring goals right, left and centre. The draw is definite runner at plus 230. Is this number, pa- Pablos, is this number too big for the visitors? Plus 200. Atletico Madrid, they've got to produce sooner or later. Yeah, and I think, you know, last season on the road, they weren't really that good. We saw uh, they weren't that good in the sense that um, against the small sides, they 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 had a bad habit of conceding first, then going 80 minutes without even scoring, and then scoring two late goals, in the mostly in the stoppage time or, you know, past the 80th minute to win. So they did have a solid away record in the um, uh, overall, but uh, it wasn't as easy. They 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 were really not that good on the road, and uh, there have been bad visitors at Bilbao in the last couple of uh, I think four or five seasons. They haven't won uh, just just one of the last uh, six matches in this venue. And Bilbao this season they've been uh, much better, you know, than pre- than the previous years. Uh, all kinds of metrics are uh, have them, you know, in the top three. Uh, they've been really good offensively, really good defensively. Um, they they have the the best XGA numbers, which are the best defensive numbers, m- meaning that uh, expected goals allowed. So it's the expected goals allowed metric. So they allow just 0.62 per match, which is the best in the league. Uh, they produce the third uh, the third most XG uh, expected goals with 2.11. Uh, they create uh, a lot of shots, a lot of shots on target. Uh, their defense is one of the uh, of the defenses that allows the fewest shots and the fewest shots on target. So, you know, the metrics, they are really good for this uh, Bilbao side. But again, uh, you know, Atletico Madrid are a bigger side. Uh, they have a, a, a better team, at least on paper. But uh, this Bilbao side has been pretty good so far in the season. So I'm I'm scared of touching uh, anything in this match. Uh, if if I was forced to, yes, I would go with some kind of um, Atletico Madrid. Uh, personally, I would go with the uh, uh, plus um, uh, 0.25 uh, or, or the pick'em or the pick'em or some kind of Atletico or tie and over something or under something. But uh, this match could really go. Could, it could be a goal or throw. It could be a 3-2 win for either side. So I don't know what to expect in terms of totals. I, I I just think it's better for me to pass on this match. But yeah, that that plus 200 on Atletico wouldn't have been there last season. Actually, I'm going to check last season's uh, price and I'll Yeah, get you, you do that, that and later. I'm going to have a chat with Paco because Paco, when I say that Atletico Madrid have got to produce sooner or later, they've mm-hmm. only been beaten once in five, but I've not been convinced in any of their performances. I mean, it's all been very disjointed and it's not been the Atletico Madrid of old where they go and, and they actually put a show on. Atletico, Atletico Club, they're the same. But they've only lost once in five. But they seem to have more belief, more confidence, and it's all newfound for them. Yeah, I, w- I would say that's the level of uh, demands over one squad on the other one. Uh, Athletic Club play as if they don't actually have nothing to lose, and they don't. Because, you know, this season, the main, the main difference regarding last year was, uh, on one hand, Ernesto Valverde uh, on the bench and Nico Williams as a starter. You know, that's the main difference. The rest of the squad, and obviously Ander Herrera, okay, who got sent off the, the other day. But most of the squad is, you know, 100% the same. Whereas for Atletico Madrid, they always have the pressure of being up there. And that's the main issue with them, especially if you see or if if you saw uh, their game on Tuesday. Because, uh, sorry, their, their game yesterday. Because they had yeah. like 21 shots, nine of them on target. They were unable to beat Club Brook, only, you know, score a single goal. They were just unable to do so against uh, a team which were... 10 men down in the last stretch of the game. So, as you said, at some point, the ketchup bottle has to make pop. And yes. they will have to score at some point because, you know, remember, Griezmann can already play because they already made the deal official with Barca. So, the whole, you know, antics with the last 30 minutes of the game, you can leave that aside already. And Joao Felix has been criticized this week. Simeone has been criticized this week. Most of the squad has been criticized this week. So, 
whenever you see Atletico facing sure demise and, and possibly doom, they often come back in some unexpected way. And, and I can definitely see a 1-0 win away from home against Athletic Club and leaving them without scoring. Uh, so that's why I went, if you see the odds for Atletico, I think that comeback can perfectly happen this weekend. And that's why I picked them over Athletic Club with a manager who I surely adore as Ernesto Valverde. He, he's going to make Athletic Club an actual contender for Champions League spots. But in this duel between the two athletics, one of them, by the way, Athletic Club over Atletico Madrid in the in the standings, which is something historic for the last five, six, seven seasons. It never happened. Uh, that's why I think uh, Simeone are going to Simeone's men are going to you know deliver in this game. Yeah, plus one ten for draw no bet. By the way, for Atletico Madrid, um, Pablos, what would you? I mean, is this one of them where we may look back and think we'll never see Atletico Madrid at plus two hundred on the road <clears throat> again at Athletic Club? Well, uh, I I just checked last season they were plus 175 again on the Pickham and they lost to Neil. And the season before that they were uh, minus 125 favorites and they lost again. So uh, statistically and historically, I'm not really sure what to make of this match. But yeah, um, this could be. I mean, listen, if we don't bet on the on Atletico money line and it comes up, uh, you know, it it becomes a reality. Uh, I'm not so sure we'd, we would be surprised. I think one of us is in this match. So, in the sake yeah. of the entire show and the entire show's bankroll, uh, I'm happy that somebody is on Atletico. But me personally, um, I I was very confused by this match. Yeah, I am. Just because they're two sides, I never ever want to be anywhere near. Uh, but obviously now I'm going to be cheering them on because the official pick is from Paco. And again, it's a decent money. Um, Paco's not complicating. He's just going with Atletico money line plus two hundred. He just thinks that they're just far, far too big. So Atletico there money you line go. plus nice. two hundred. I did think that the under two and a half was a runner though, at minus one thirty five. If you uh, if you fancy that, um, and obviously the um, Atletico draw no bet is plus ten, which is far, far too big as well. 